Hello everyone and welcome back to our little Lima area which I'm super excited about, super, super excited about and I want to add in some nature stuff before we pop them in here. I wanted to add in a waterfall. I do think I have a waterfall in my blueprint somewhere which is going to be perfect for them. It might be the same one as we used for the Nyalas. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I think it's this one. This is kind of my go-to waterfall right now. What is this? This is amazing. What is it? Is it just like a walkway tunnel? <gasps> we could put this here. We could put this here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me see. Oh, this is so cool. I don't really want the floor. But this is so cool. We could do this as like a whole entrance, an exit to like the jungly area. Ooh, it kind of looks different though. And it's kind of African, is it African themed? Kind of. Huh, okay. Well, I guess we could do something like that. Like we could put a tropical waterfall down my goodness a huge drop of a waterfall down and hang on let's just put this down I just want to see like what's going on because this is super cool as well what on earth this looks amazing we could totally put that down here and people can like walk through it because that looks super cool although I'd, why though why is the water so blue why is the water so big? Natural color, please. Yes. Okay, that's so cool. You can change the color. Okay. You know what? We're going to pop this thing down. Whoops. I went back too far, I think. Let's see. We do have this little one here, which we have down somewhere, I think. Do we have this one down somewhere? No, we haven't used it yet. Okay. And then the tropical waterfall is the one that I just used. And we do have... What is this? Waterfalls. Oh, which is also a cool walkway. What on earth? Why do I have so many super cool walkways? We can totally put this down somewhere. Oh, I love these so much. Okay, but I kind of want this tropical, this giant tropical waterfall. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is so cool. I could totally use this somewhere. Where on earth am I going to put this? This is so cool. It kind of wants to go far away. Hmm, so maybe we'll have to build around it at some point. I'm just kind of wasting time looking at really cool stuff. <laughs> um, let me see. What was I doing? Waterfall. Small, small waterfall for Aswit. I got it. For the llamas. For the llamas. I keep calling them llamas. I don't know why. Okay, we're going to put this one in. Because this one's just the gentle small one that we use for a lot of our habitats. Because it's perfect for what we need. Okay, I'm going to scooch this tree over here. And we're going to have to see what the, the uh, lemurs, not llamas, what the lemurs like for their area. Because I'm pretty sure they can climb out of this now. And we're going to have to see what plants they like. Because I think probably there's a lot of the wrong plants here for them. We can decorate it however we kind of want anyway. I'm going to get rid of some of these. Some of these little bits here and there that I can see the plants are. Otherwise, they will get finickety about everything, I think. Okay. And then I'll put another rock back in here. Okay. Looking better. Looking better. I like it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to flatten this because I haven't got any water in it yet. And I'm going to push this down. 
and smooth it around a bit. So we can fit some water in here for them. To go with the beautiful waterfall. Oh, I don't like it when it rained. When it rains. Okay, whoops. Blossom has matured, so she's going to argue. So let's get rid of her really quickly into the trade center. Pedro, you can leave my man. He can leave. And Sylvia has grown up. She can be released. Teresa, giant Galapagos tortoise, has died. <gasps> no, this is one of our first ever Galapagos tortoises. And she has died. <gasps> Teresa, no. That means lettuce is going to go soon. Oh no, lettuce and Teresa were a pair that I got at the start with the tortoises. So that is super sad that they're slowly, slowly leaving us, which is so sad. So sad. I literally can't see a thing with this weather. Oh my goodness. Where was I before? Oh yes, I was over here. Okay. Let's um get some of these alimas in. Ring tailed. Ah, oh, ring tailed. What am I what am I doing? Haha. -ha. Ring tailed lima. We have none. We have no ring tailed lemas. I swear we did. I swear we bought them. Okay. Ring tailed lima. Hopefully, it's not going to be too expensive. Okay, let's see. Price, lowest. Okay, we can buy a male for some money, which is perfect. And we're going to have to buy a female for a thousand. Ten thousand. Oh lord, they're very expensive, aren't they? Is that the, like the, the, yes, oh my gosh. That is super expensive. But I guess we can do it with all the... No, that would literally be, like, a lot of our credits. We definitely cannot do that for 10,000. That's crazy. Oh! And just as I saw that, I am going to buy two of the females. Because I'm pretty sure they need, like, a group. A group of females. But it's even more females. Okay, I'm gonna get three. Oops, I think I'm upsetting a kind of a few things here. Am I upsetting a lot of stuff? Can I not adopt this female? Okay, you know what? We're gonna be fine. We're gonna just leave it like that. I don't know who we've got. I don't know who we haven't got, but it's all good. I'm gonna give a door to this barriers, the barriers here to the habitat. Um, and there we go. Attached it perfectly to the already made um staff path and then let's bump up this terrain a bit putting it this way just to make it a bit more interesting in some places like chiseling a bit of the earth and pulling a bit here and there and everywhere and pushing this down and smoothing it smoothing it all over okay let's see um can we add in our lemurs please a female and this female who we're gonna name don't worry and this male in we go everybody in we go and let's just check blossom matured we put her away ghost has had offspring and Saffron, the Nayala, has had offspring. That's so good that our Nayalas are now super, super happy in their new habitat. I'm so glad because I do love the habitat. Uh oh, cleanliness problem in the peafowl area because they've had so many babies now, which is kind of ridiculous. Advanced research on the Bengals, we can start that. Forest and mangroves planting of animals from breeding. Oh, well, that's odd. I don't know why he'd be doing that. Um, what is that a flower? Yes, it is. Let's get rid of that. Oh, hoo -hoo. look how small this lemur is. <laughs> That's literally slightly ridiculous that you can't see him at all. And I bet this area is mahusive for him. Yes, it is. But once we add everybody else in, I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Um, short grass they need. So let's change this all to short grass. And then he wants lots of soil. So let's put soil. Oops, and I kind of want light soil. 
all around this area like it's been used and around this area and we can add some fine sand around here mix in some soil and some short grass perfect yes okay and then climbable area and hard shelter is needed we don't like the nettles which apparently are in here I don't see any nettles mm -mm -mm. nettles and apparently a cold line let's push some of the terrain down okay we can't push the terrain down Okay, now I'm gonna push on the train down just to reach these plants that they don't like so you can remove them. There. And then we'll flatten it back out. Don't worry. Okay, smooth it down. Lit up a bit, whatever happened before. Okay, and then we'll put the water back in. Oops 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 okay that's good enough okay um let's see let's see is he sitting down look at him look at him look at him i love him i love him so much okay is this the him Just tell me this is a him okay this is a female okay we're gonna call her uh nadia nadia and what about this is gonna be ying I'm gonna do a yin and a yang so that they are together. Where is Yang? Here he is. Yang the male. What? Tell me. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Nimbus has matured. We're gonna put him in the trade center. And who's this? Algebra tortoise has matured. It's one of our pens and also one of these as well. Sky the mandrel has matured. And Nutmeg on Nyala has died. <gasps> no, Nutmeg. No, she's our first Nyala to die. I'm so sad. She's our first lovely lady to have an end. Oh, oh. Oof. That's hard. That's really hard losing one of our new animals that we just put in. Her longevity obviously it wasn't particularly good. So, um, I'm very sad about that. Okay, love okay, the llama. La oh my gosh, I keep I keep calling them llamas. I literally can't help it. What are they? Ring tailed ring tailed lemurs. Ring tailed lemur um, lagoon. <laughs> let's call it that. The ring-tailed lemur. Actually, let's just call it the lemur lagoon because I'm pretty sure we're having, whoops, lots of different types of lemurs in here. That is how you spell lemur, isn't it? Let's check. Yes, it is. It just looks a bit weird there. Okay. Let's add this to the work zone of tortoise terrain. Cool. Let's give them what they need. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go. So they need, they've had too much long grass. It's just because this area here, it's all right. You can chill, you can chill. It's all good, you'll be fine. Okay, and then let's see, let's see. Let's add a tiny bit, I just wanted a bit of sand around here. Okay, cool. Um, hard shelter and they want climbing stuff. So if we go into habitat and then we click on ringtail lima, which is somewhere on the bottom. Yes, here we go. Ah, there are so many cool climbing things which they can have. I love it. Let's see. Um, food and water, beds, heaters, climbable. There's a monkey climbing thing and shelter. Oh my goodness, a red panda home. Red panda climbing frame. Oh, lots of interesting red pandas. A lemur climbing frame. Well, there we go. That's all perfect for them. A giant ape tree house. A rhubarb is about to die. Rhubarb, rhubarb. Wow, okay. 
these are just gigantic things. So let's put a few of these in. Whoops, that's floating. That's floating. Okay, I'm gonna put a few of these things in. For our beautiful llama, uh, oh my gosh, lemurs. For our beautiful lemurs, so that they can kind of enjoy um, the climbing experience as well. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cool little thing where they can go from here to here to let me see elf that's a lot okay come on I want it to be like really cool and do loads here we go this is what I wanted then they can kind of go on a cool little experience oh look I can just make them I can just make them bigger well, that's a clever way of doing it I didn't think about that there it's like a cool little path for them to like carry on to. I think that's kind of cool. And then over here, and there's like a climbing thing, and a natural branch, and a natural trunk, a tree trunk thing. Ooh, super cool things. Oh look, an animal, a small animal climbing frame. This climbing thing, this, we're gonna give them like a lot of things because I'm pretty sure they need loads anyway. And if they have like a mixed species in here, then they're going to need a lot of stuff. Okay. And then, let's see, we can put a sprinkler for them around the waterfall, which helps with the enrichment. They need a food enrichment. Oh, I love the forage box. I think it's so cool. Okay. And then another toy. Can I put it up here? Okay, that's a good toy for them. And a block of ice. Okay, they need one more. A mobile frame. Boom. Okay, a mirror. It's called a mirror mobile. Okay, my bad. Mirror mobile. Can mirror mobile go up here? Yes. Okay. Super cool, super cool. Amazing. All right, let's add some nature plants in the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye. Oh no, who is it? Rhubarb.